What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to the series on JavaScript. In this video, we will learn about the switch statement and how to use it to make decision making programs in JavaScript. We'll also learn to create a calculator using the JavaScript switch statement. So let's get started. Before we learn about the switch statement, let's consider a scenario. You are given a number between 1 to 7 and based on the number, you have to print the day of the week. For example, if the number is 1, then the day is Sunday and if the number is 2, the day is Monday and so on. Now you can use the if else statement for this. However, for every number, there should be a separate condition and this will make our program look very messy and difficult to understand. For this kind of problem, when you have to choose from multiple options, a better approach will be the switch statement. First, let's look into the syntax of a switch statement. The switch statement starts with the switch keyword followed by a variable or expression inside parenthesis. Inside the switch statement, we can create multiple cases and based on the value of the variable or expression, the corresponding case is executed. If the result of the expression is equal to value 1, then the body of case 1 is executed. Similarly, if the result is value 2, the body of case 2 is executed and so on. If the result is, doesn't match any cases, the body of default is executed. Let's get back to our previous example of finding the day of the week. So I'll first ask the user to enter a number between 1 to 7. Let me remove this old code. And this must be muscle memory for you by now. So I'll say const number equals percent prompt enter a number between 1 and 7. On the next line, I can say switch oops number and now let me add the cases so when the case is 1 I'll print Sunday I'll talk more about this break later on so if the case is 2 then it's Monday break case 3 now by this time I think we should be copy pasting this code and I need three more and then at the end I'll put the break oh sorry the default and inside that I'll say console log invalid input now one two three is Tuesday four is Wednesday one two three four 5 is Thursday, 6 is Friday, and similarly, 7 is Saturday. Here we have included cases from 1 to 7. So if the user enters 1, then this part of the code is executed, which will print Sunday to the screen. Similarly, if the user inputs 2, then this part of the code will be executed and Monday will be printed to the screen. However, if the user enters any number except 1 to 7, then the code inside default will be executed and invalid input is printed. Let me run this program and I'll press 4 or input 4 and you can see that I got Wednesday as expected. Let me run this again and input an invalid number like 12 and you can see that I got invalid input. If you're enjoying this video, Please also check out Program is Pro, where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. Now you must have noticed we have used the break statement after each individual case in the program that we wrote. Here the break statement exits the switch statement after executing the matching case. If you don't use the break statement, all the cases after the matching case are also executed. To show you how, I'll remove all the break statements from this program. So let me remove one by one all of these. And now when I run this program and enter 4 again, you can see that in addition to Wednesday, I got other output as well. I got Wednesday because this case got activated and console log Wednesday was printed. But since there's no break statement, all the cases after that are also executed 
and that's why we see Thursday, Friday, Saturday and invalid input as well. This is the reason why we use break after every case. Sometimes there might be situations where we want to execute multiple cases together. In such cases, we can omit the break statement. So let's see one such situation. As you can see, I pasted some new code on the compiler. Here we want to check if the day is a weekday or a weekend. So all the cases from Monday to Friday will be a weekday and all the cases Saturday and Sunday will be a weekend. The default obviously will be an invalid day. Let me run this code and let me press Monday, enter Monday and you can see that I got weekday. Since there is no break statement, all the cases after Monday got executed and at the end because the code for Friday was console log weekday, that's what got printed. Let me run this code again. This time I'll do Wednesday. And I got weekday again. This is because the matching case was Wednesday. All the, oops, there was not supposed to be a semicolon here. So all the cases after Wednesday also got executed. And at the end of the day, I still get the same output which was required. Now let me run this and enter Saturday. This time, this case was executed and the output or because of uh, there's no break statement, this kept on going down and finally I got the value weekend on the screen. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video. So leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Now it's time to see a practical example of the switch statement. We will use the switch case statement to create a simple calculator. Here I've copy pasted the code from our GitHub repository so that you don't have to see me type the whole thing. Now let's see what's happening in this code. Here I have taken three inputs from the user. First, the user is asked to input an operator which is either plus, minus, multiplication or division operator. Then the user is asked to input two numbers I have used pass float here so that the user can input decimals as well. I've also created a result variable to store the result. Now based on the operator entered by the user, the corresponding case is executed by the switch case statement. If the user entered plus, then the case plus is acti activated and result becomes number one plus number two. The break statement here terminates the switch clause. Similarly, if the user entered minus, then the result becomes number one minus number two and the break statement again terminates the clause similar for multiplication and division as well. If the user enters something other than these, then I tell the user that the in operator they've entered is invalid. I don't need the break here. That was my mistake. And finally, the result is printed using console log. Now let me run this program. And you can see it says enter operator. Let me enter something like asterisk for multiplication. And it says enter the first number. So let me enter five. For the second number, let me enter something like 8.8. .8. And as you can see, I get 44, which is the multiplication of five and 8.8. .8. Now it's time to practice what you've learned. Here's a programming task for you. Use the switch statement to create a program that takes the number input from 1 to 12 and based on that, print the corresponding month based on the input value. So if the number is 1, print January. If the number is 2, print February and so on. You'll find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository. Also, if you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository as well. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now that we've reached the end of this video, it's time for the programming quiz. Which of the cases is executed in the following code? Comment your answer below and happy programming.